Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. If you are a software engineer or planning to become one, then this video is for you. You need to hear this. See, as we know, software engineering is evolving fast and the skills you have today may not be enough to secure your future by 2027. There's a new study showing that 80% of software engineers will need to upskill to keep their jobs. It's shocking, right? Well, it's all thanks to generative AI and the rapid shift in the tech landscape. So in this video, we'll discuss what is changing, what skills will keep you in demand and how to stay ahead of the curve. So let's now discuss first what's changing. You must have heard of many AI tools, ChatGPT, Copilot and other AI tools. And these AI tools are already transforming how engineers work. See, generative AI is basically shifting the industry in two main ways. First, speeding up the software development. Generative AI is able to handle the tasks such as writing code snippet, automating bug fixes and even testing of software. So now the repetitive tasks are handled by AI, leaving the engineers to focus more on critical problem solving. And second is changing the job roles. The demands, see in future the demands will shift towards the engineers who have a blend of skills in software development, machine learning, data science and having some knowledge of AI tools as well. So we will see more demand for engineers who can manage AI tools, who can use AI tools in um, software development and or specialize in the area like AI ethics, security, right? It's, so it's more about software engineers with AI focus. It's not just traditional software engineering, but collaboration, collaborating with AI as well, right? So please focus on this thing. This would be really in demand. I'm not saying that you have to be expert in AI. If you are applying for software engineering job, no, but just foundational knowledge of AI tools or machine learning libraries or APIs or, you know, these kind of things so that you can apply that knowledge. That would be really helpful. And you will be you, you definitely getting an edge over other candidates as well. So AI, learning AI will not be an optional in future. It is essential for you, even if you are applying for a software engineering job. So if you are pursuing BTEC or you are, if you are an aspiring software engineer, please prioritize AI and ML in your learning, in your education. Whether you can take up new courses or you can go for some certification courses or you can uh, work on some projects also to gain some hands-on experience of using these tools, AI tools. That would really be helpful. And if you want to upskill yourself, if you want to learn something new and you are tired of taking many courses from different, different websites, from different, different resources. Now, what if I say you can get all the premium courses ranging from Java to data science to machine learning, generative AI, ReactJS, Django and many courses at one place only and you don't need to pay for each and individual course. Yes, that's correct. You can get this with GFG premium subscription. Geeks for Geeks premium gives you access to 35 plus courses worth more than 50,000. As you can see here, DSA placement courses, development and testing, machine learning, data science. And what you will get in these courses, let me show you this Python for data science. Click on start learning and you can just click on start course to start. And there you will get whatever the content you will get here. And if you will click on any one, like getting started with Python, you will get these are the videos, right? You can watch these videos. Problems are also there. You can just click on any problem and you can just solve this. So the articles, quiz and contest, many things you will get in this. And apart from this, you will get 24 into 7 doubt support as well. They are just a click away if you stuck somewhere. Personalized notes, you will get easy to read summaries of key insights. Plus a yogi boat assistant for coding help anywhere, anytime. And 20% extra discount as well on, the, on all the live and offline courses throughout your subscription. There are two uh, available premium plans, half yearly and annual. But this annual is a little bit light on your pocket. And anyone who buys the one year subscription from my link, the link I'll give, that, give in the description box of this video, then you will get a bonus year for free. It means you buy for one year and you will get two year subscription. So the details and the relevant link you will get in the description box of this video. You can go and check out. So what skills will keep you in demand? See the skills which are traditionally associated with software development such as coding, debugging, testing, and uh, designing that are no longer enough. I'm not saying that no longer needed, definitely needed, but no longer enough. Ex uh, engineers would have to expand their skill set to include AI related competencies such as AI, machine learning algorithms, data analytics, NLP. Just you have at least the foundational knowledge of these things so that you can apply, you can use these things also, AI related things also in your software development field.
बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवन ए आई विल बिकम एन एसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस थिंग एंड वन मोर थिंग नेवर अंडर एस्टिमेट द पावर ऑफ गुड नेटवर्किंग एंगेज विद द कम्युनिटीज ऑन गेट हब लिंक इन स्टैक ओवर फ्लो सो दी स्किल्स विल कीप यू हेड ऑफ द कर्व मीन्स स्टार्ट लर्निंग फ्रॉम टूडे ओनली की फोकसिंग प्रायोरटाइज दीज थिंग्स ए आई एम एल थिंग्स मशीन लर्निंग एलगेदम ए आई टूल्स यूज ए आई टूल्स फॉर यूर प्रोजेक्ट्स देन यू विल बी having you know you will be getting ahead of the curve in near future right so software engineer software engineering field is evolving very fast ai won't replace software engineers but it will definitely replace the engineers who refuse to adapt so keep learning and stay ahead of the curve and let me know in comment section if this kind of video is helpful for you guys and uh, please drop a comment and let me know what skills you are planning to learn next so that's for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye Take care.